have some questions? Chico, yeah. But that's the only way to sum one, because you're assuming, how can you sum the total gini if you have a between, a within, and a, a positive? So exactly, so you are sort of like including in it one or in the other. You don't know where it is. So how can I, I, can, can I, can I suggest to this, because I have exactly the same. Yeah. When we discussed, I didn't, I didn't uh, know this, uh, this graph. So it's exactly the point. Because uh, when you do the within over the total inequality, you are underestimating inequality opportunity. Because we are attributing, so to speak, the residual to the effort. If you do the other way around, so you do, you do total inequality minus uh, between, you are uh, overestimated. <coughs> so that could, should be down. So I, I, I agree with you. I mean, is, that's. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it cannot be. 
Yeah, it cannot be. Yeah, so, yeah. so I, I, I will propose, I will propose to, to discuss it yeah. later yeah. among yeah. the three of us but or someone else. Very interesting because yeah, it's kind of like the, the way we are measuring. Yeah, so take other. Patrizio. So we'll see if there are some other questions, and then uh, if there are other questions, yeah. Um, I do have a question for all of you. Yeah. Uh, do you actually, because I have one question, and it's um, in the last graph I think that you show where you correlate uh, inequality of opportunity versus inequality, I can tell that for a given inequality, there is a large variability of inequality of opportunity. I'm wondering. Okay, thank you for the questions. We take a last question, and then we, uh, if they are not, then we'll ask. Do you want to start? Okay. Okay, so the first one is the one of uh, Patricio. So the decision to move, I mean, the assumption is no, of course, you, uh, there is selection, and you are very aware of the age in which you are moving, and that's why one of the validations is the sibling comparisons, because it's less likely that you were aware, but you probably were not trying to benefit one of your kids if you have more than one. So that's kind of less likely, yeah, you know, like we're going to move to a better place with better schools, but I'm going to just privilege <laughs> one of them. <laughs> yes, but it's a... Uh, then the other thing is that the selection, the, the assumption of the selection is that it doesn't change with age, but it's identified kind of passing the age of schooling, right? It's like, uh, 
is kind of flat, something that is flat over the edges, but then you identify it when you move later than, you know, you move when, when the kid is old to, to complete school. And of course, it, within income, it was, it's a better assumption than in education, because sometimes in education, some people go back to school, but that is, that is what it is, I think. And the other thing is, I did across the regions, there is, I don't have a good argument, really, it's just I pull them, I have done the analysis for Brazil only, and you find the same pattern, and of course Brazil drives these results because it's a much bigger country in terms of population. Then if I do with all Brazil, I see something similar, but less, more noisy. I'm currently trying to get the full consensus for particular countries to try to perhaps uncover some of the, uh, what are the characteristics of the regions, like instead of describing the region with the level of mobility of the non-movers, but with some other characteristics, but if you have all the, you know, it's, that's more difficult to do if you pull the countries, it's easier if it is for one country. But for that you need the full consensus and I have only 10% samples. Um, the other thing about comparing movers to non-movers, uh, the approach actually compares movers to movers. You're comparing people who move one place to another place, but different ages. What you use, the non-movers are used to just to predict what should be the level of the movers uh, of whether they convert to the level of, uh, yes. Um, but thank you for the question. Yeah, my answer is very short, so. <laughs> well, the, one of the possible answers is that um, in years you have more women as head of household. So in 2017, because, I don't know, the patterns, social patterns, people divorce more. Uh, there, there is a divorce law that it wasn't approved uh, uh, in 2006, but it was in 2017. So there is a, a kind of like likelihood that there are more women household heads in 2017. But the other one is that this is self-reported. Um, so is the household head that in the survey said, I am. So um, social norms also change. So and in the past is more, it's not a very, uh, it's not a long distance past, it's 2006, but still uh, y you see an evolution that is more recent, uh, that is more likely that women said, I am the household head in 2017 than in 2006. Uh, so this can be uh, like, it, I'm, but I'm imagining it because I'm, I'm basically not changing what um, the, my problem is I have, I use household heads because in 2017, the circumstance questions like uh, edu parental education and the place where you were born are only asked to the household head. Uh, not in 2006, but, see, but in 2017, it, that was the case. So uh, I couldn't sort of, I cannot, because I, I could also say, okay, I'm going to choose the higher income as household head but I cannot do it because I don't have the circumstance characteristic in 2017. So it's m like a practice. I wanted to use a full sample, but that was a problem. Okay, I, uh, thanks for the, the questions. So the, the, the question on the, the location of individuals, uh, uh, we we take in, I mean we 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 deal with that uh, with that issue, and first of all we we show what are the statistics on the migrations from the regions, and we do some robustness checks. So and uh, I mean they are not so dramatic the migrations between the regions, the migration between the sub regions are very strong, but between the regions that we have are that strong. So uh, I mean we we deal with that in the paper. We discuss it. We do some uh, checks. Now, as for the relationship between inequality and inequality of opportunity, uh, now this, uh, you know, this was a, a graph, uh, firstly uh, proposed by uh, by Miles Kovac, in which he, he put, uh, plotted the inequality and uh, inc income mobility of, of the countries. Okay, and uh, you know, it came like a, a good surprise to see that. Uh, the countries with the high inequality are also the countries with the high persistence in mobility. Why it was a good surprise? Because you know, the rhetoric in general, in general, uh, in defense of inequality, says that the inequality is the price you have to pay to have an open society in which opportunities are open. You know, so the inequality and the, the data said something different. That the, now. 
And we, 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 we did the same with inequality of opportunity, which is, if you want, a generalization of uh, income mobility because, because we have other circumstances. Now, there are not uh, mechanical reasons that explain why the countries with the high inequality are also the countries with the high inequality opportunity. Because there we plot the relative inequality opportunity, so the portion. Okay, There are not any mechanical reason one could think why it should be like that. Okay, uh, So that's the first question. So, so uh, when we have a positive relationship, we don't have you know, uh, we, we, we can argue that, uh, you know, the positive relation can be explained on the one side or on the other side of the causality. In the sense that uh, if there is a big inequality in, in outcomes today, this means that for the next generation there will be inequality in opportunities. On the other hand, the inequality of opportunities today will, will bring inequality in outcome tomorrow. So, uh, the, the relation can, can be in, in both directions. Uh, but Again, there is no specific reason I would uh, I would uh, uh, identify in the literature uh, uh, why that should be the case. These are macro indicators, you know, very aggregate indicators in equity opportunity income. So any mechanism can be behind that. Uh, we should uh, we should face the fact that it's not always true, and for some countries, I mean, for some uh, cases, uh, these positive relations is not is not respected. But uh, we. Uh, what I want to say, we should not expect that there should be a clear relationship. I mean, there is n nothing, uh, uh, you know, n no, me no clear mechanism why it should be, should be like that. That's at, at least my reading. I don't know if someone else here in the room would add some uh, reflection on, on this point. But if there are some other questions, we have, I think, a few minutes left. It is one last question. Otherwise, thanks for the attention and thanks for uh, participating to the session. Thanks a lot. <laughs>